Hansen. And it would be a lot more convincing if I hadn't heard you practice your laughing <laughs> when I was out there. When I heard the warm-up comedian desperately say, please practice laughing. <laughs> and then you come out and everyone's so happy to see you. Why are they happy to see you? Because they're afraid not to be happy to see you. <laughs> Look, just relax. If you don't feel that anything's funny here, you better laugh anyway. <laughs> See? Anyway, it's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, it is. It is. It's a great day for America. A great day. A great day if you if you like the chicken nuggets. No, and who doesn't? <laughs> I'll tell you who doesn't. Al Qaeda. But the. Uh, <laughs> Actually, Craig, that's not true. We enjoy chicken. <laughs> there was a three-year-old chicken nugget that looks like George Washington. <laughs> How do you know it's a three-year-old chicken nugget? You go, hmm, three years old? <laughs> what is it, like wine or something? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a 2009, very good year for the nugget. <laughs> No, but this uh, chicken, no, I, I guess somebody saw it. It looks like George Washington. And so they kept it. It's three years old. It sold on eBay for $8,000. <laughs> ah, exactly, frightened laughers. $8,000. <laughs> now, if you, if you still want to go online and see nuggets that look like former presidents, then may I suggest my webcam? <laughs> my nuggets... <laughs> My nuggets look like Teddy Roosevelt. <laughs> you know, they're small. <laughs> I, I call them the Rough Riders. <laughs> that was actually quite clever, wasn't it? <laughs> anyway, uh, oh, I, I heard about this today. I'm very upset at the Fox Network. They canceled the dinosaur, uh, dinosaur, the dinosaur <laughs> show. <laughs> that was canceled a while ago. No, the dinosaur show, uh, Terry Nova. Terra Nova. <laughs> Terry Nova is a, a guy who works in Vegas. It's a completely different guy. No, the dinosaur show Terra Nova has been cancelled. And I'm like, oh, come on, Fox. I was just getting into it. But I guess that it's difficult to get people excited about fake dinosaurs. They can watch the real thing battle things out on Super Tuesday. Ah-ha! <laughs> That's right. I know it's Super Tuesday. Did I? Right. Now, the results. Results are down to the wire, of course, now, and we're live here, so we can say, you know... <laughs> we can say, congratulations, winners. <laughs> one thing's for sure, though. At the end of the day, one man was on top, one man was on the bottom, and two men were in the, in the middle right there. So, <laughs> that's it. Like Elton John calls Super Tuesday, right? <laughs> anyway, the... <laughs> The 10 states uh, had their primaries today. Everyone says the big money's on Mitt Romney. I mean, literally, he's so rich, money oozes from his poor. <laughs> he spent five and a half million dollars on television advertising in the Super Tuesday states. Meanwhile, Ron Paul put a sticker on a light pole. <laughs> Here you are. Everybody's gonna walk by it. Anyway, my hat's off to Mitt Romney. He's been out on the campaign trail, even though he's got a terrible cold. I'm not surprised he's sick, though. It's very unsanitary. You keep putting your foot in your mouth like that. And it did. <laughs> it doesn't help Mars when he keeps blowing his nose on $100 bills. <laughs> now, it's not just Super Tuesday. It is a, it's also an equally important day. Today is... Did you know about this? It's the 100th birthday of the Oreo cookie. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You knew this? 
Very weird people in the audience. <laughs> I mean, I knew it because I'm like, what the hell am I going to talk about on Google this morning? Why that? <laughs> anyway, uh, do we have a graphic for that? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Now, look. Now, see, there's, there's the problem right there, because that kind of enthusiastic reaction was clearly out of proportion for that piece of crap that we just saw. <laughs> So the people at home are like, what is going on? I'll, I'll tell you what's going on. They're scared that they're not going to get out of here without being punished. <laughs> but Craig, they're in there already. Surely that's punishment enough, perhaps. <laughs> anyway, as the Oreo cookie is 100 years old today, the, the Oreo is not the only 100-year-old thing I would lick the uh, cream off of. I would also... <laughs> No, no, it probably is, actually. Uh, no, 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 there's Joan Rivers. I would like the... No! I would like the cream off of Joan Rivers to get to the Oreos. <laughs> Craig, are you saying you're sexually attracted to Joan Rivers? No, what I'm saying is that I like Oreo cookies so much that I would eat them off Joan Rivers. And I'm sexually attracted to Joan Rivers. I didn't actually try my first Oreo cookie until I, until I first came to America when I was 13 years old and I discovered how, how great it is to dunk them in cold milk. And, and I also discovered Oreo cookies. And they... <laughs> Here we go, Rough Riders. But they... I just, I really like cookies. They're very hard to resist, especially the, uh, the Girl Scout cookies because they, they bring them right to your house. <laughs> Home! Where my children play with their toys! <laughs> They're home! They, 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 they bring the... I'm leaving, even the drug dealer doesn't bring it to your house! <laughs> when I was on drugs, you have to go to some dude's apartment, pretend to enjoy his band's demo tape, see how awesome it is that he's got a tarantula. <laughs> they just turn up at your house! <laughs> with Thin Mints and Samoas. I like the Samoas. Over the years, there have been some uh, Girl Scout cookies that weren't popular, though. There was um, Thin Gimps, uh, <laughs> Crackeroons. <laughs> Although, I think that'd be quite popular, actually, the Crackeroon. <laughs> Peanut butter and lard, uh, the <laughs> mini chocolate log. <laughs> oh, that's what grosses you out? Not licking cream off of Joan Rivers? That's what grosses you out? Can you believe this? It's unbelievable. I can't believe this audience. What's, what's wrong with these people? They are reprehensible. I can't. What is wrong with them? I think they're stoned. <laughs> <laughs> that might be true, actually, yeah. Do, are you watching the Super Tuesday results? Oh, yeah, man. I'm all over. I mean, yeah. <laughs> so what do you think? It was quite interesting, wasn't it? I could care less. <laughs> You're not very political? No, no, not at all. I try to stay away from that. Story. I try and stay away from it too. Every yeah. time, you know, every time I make a, some kind of, I say something that can be remotely construed as having an opinion, I think, oh, why did I bother? Everyone gets, everyone gets so angry at you, don't they? Yeah, when you say stuff like that, I get very angry. Well, you too. see right there. Yeah. <laughs> I do like those uh, Girl Scout cookies. Oh, you though. do? Yeah. yeah, I enjoy the uh, Terry Novas. <laughs> I hate you, man. I know. Yeah, all right, do the thing. Sure. Tonight's program is brought to you by Thin Gimps, the cookie that will dominate your taste buds. Eat it, slave. <laughs>